Someone commented on one of my videos saying this, I'm a business consultant, so I struggle to stay in shape as I travel seven times a month, so almost twice a week. Can you give me some advice on staying in shape while traveling? First of all, of course. Second of all, I can actually give you an example of one of my clients, Dave. So Dave has been my client for around six months now. When he started with me, he had the same issue. He was a project manager. He was taking trips to Dubai all the time for business meetings. And he was even going other places like Bangkok. When he was traveling, he had no time to even prepare meals. He didn't even know what to have whilst he was on the go. So he ended up eating fast food, things like McDonald's. He also didn't work out because he just felt unmotivated. After the meetings, he would either go drinking with his business partners or he would sit inside with the tv on watching netflix whilst he would just eat all the hotel food it was terrible and he got really out of shape developed a beer belly too because of all the alcohol that he was consuming so he had to be fixed and this is what we did so what i did with dave i put him on the hybrid method which is my own unique program that all my clients use to get in impeccable shape but not only that they stay in shape whilst they're traveling and they also maintain their physique and their energy levels the whole time now dave is feeling on top of the world 99 percent energy most of the time and he always makes sure that he fits in his workouts and he manages his diet in the right way where he can still eat whatever he wants but in moderation and there's a way to do that to make it feel like you're eating whatever you want but to still be managing your food and it's all about organizing the way you eat your food in the right structure and also having the food at the right times of the day so here's the five step process that we used to make sure he stays in shape and whilst he's traveling the world number one he worked out less so for you work out less first of all guys you need to understand that making progress with your physique and improving your health is not complicated it's actually very simple i didn't say it was easy but it's very very simple you do not need to work out six to seven times a week it makes no logical sense you haven't even given your body enough time to recover you need a three to four day optimized workout split and within my hybrid method I have a deep set of hotel workouts, 30 minutes each, that require minimal space that you can do in your hotel room whilst you're on the go and anywhere in the world. You do not even need access to a gym. That's how simple it is. Here's the workouts that I prescribed for Dave. The very first workout was gonna be push focused. So we started off with a hard variation of push-ups. For Dave, we focused on a push-up exercise called Hindu push-ups. This targeted not only his chest, but also his shoulders and his triceps simultaneously. We then focused on one more exercise that was gonna be strength focused, and that was pike push-ups. He wasn't so good at pike push-ups and he wasn't that good at his shoulder strength. So mixing the Hindu push-ups with the pike push-ups really built up the shelf of his upper chest and his shoulders to a new level. These two exercises included three sets each, and for the last part of the workout, the rest of the 20 minutes, all we did was a three exercise circuit. And we did that for two to three rounds. The first exercise was mountain climbers for as long as he could. The next exercise was plank jacks for as long as he could. And the very last exercise was leg flutters on the floor. That was it. Then we just repeated this whole thing twice a week, but we focused on a different muscle group each time. The next one was focused on his back. So what we did for back was different variations of supermans we also did snow angels on the floor and then we repeated the same circuit again for legs the same process we did explosive squats and a mix of pistol squats as well or assisted pistol squats so all we needed to use was a bed or a sofa just like i have around me right now that simple the second thing included in the hybrid method is going to be your diet when you're traveling it's all about protein a heavy carb diet is not going to be your best option because number one it's going to make you feel lethargic and number two you're going to put on unnecessary weight in the wrong areas i know this sounds super cliche and everyone talks about this in the fitness industry and online but protein is going to be your best friend and i'll tell you exactly why protein is satiating which means it's going to keep you full for longer so even when you don't have a lot of food 
but it's high in protein, you're gonna feel more full, you won't wanna eat more, and thus, you're gonna help maintain a healthy weight level and even lose the fat. When you're on the go and you're trying to find a high protein meal, you need to select your go-to options, especially in the airports. My personal favorites for it to be quick and effective are gonna be Subway and Taco Bell. Both high in protein, both way better than McDonald's. The third thing that we did for Dave is gonna be the accountability. Staying in shape whilst traveling is honestly a very difficult thing to do, especially when you don't have the right accountability systems in place. So what do I mean by accountability systems? The way that I keep Dave accountable every single week and every day of the week is very, very simple. It is literally impossible for Dave to ever miss his workout or miss updating his food. And this is how. The very first accountability system that Dave has in place is a messaging system. What is this? This is a 24 seven direct line of communication with myself. So if he has any questions about anything, he needs advice and he needs it quick, making sure that whilst he's on the go, whilst he's doing things, I'm there communicating with him as soon as possible. The next thing that Dave had was weekly training audits and progress summaries. So this was usually a long paragraph or voice notes to explain exactly where he was in his journey currently, what he had to do to improve the next day, the next week, and iron out his bad habits. We would also go through the whole week of training, the whole week of food, and explain what was good, what was bad, and what needs to be improved. The third thing that keeps him accountable is going to be daily reminders. So Dave will actually get a notification on the device that he's using whilst he trains with me. So he will get a notification if number one, he's close to missing a workout and he needs to do it soon. Number two, he hasn't updated his food in a while or even number three, he hasn't updated his weight in a while or let me know when he's gonna be able to do his workout. The best thing that is gonna keep Dave accountable is gonna be weekly video check-in calls and weekly video progress calls. This will include a 20 to 40 minute call with myself where we'll go over the whole week, summarize everything, see where he's at, not only physically, but mentally as well. From here, we will be able to make a plan of action every single week that he'll be able to follow. And he's gonna have to update his food. He's gonna have to follow the workouts, otherwise, he's gonna have to face me the next week and the week after and the week after. So he doesn't wanna upset me and he wants to help himself keep him accountable. That is really the key. If you were trying to get in shape as a busy nine to fiver or even a business owner and you needed a premium solution to coaching and not just your local PT, there's a link in my bio breaking down my full hybrid method where you can book in a one-to-one -one custom roadmap call with me and make sure you know exactly what to do and the right steps to take, showing you everything that you need to know to get into the best shape of your life by the end of summer. Okay, so now we move on to number four of the hybrid method, and that is gonna be hydration. You guys need to get one of these things. Ideally, you want a bigger one. You need a massive gallon of water that you can take around with you. I'll be honest, it is difficult to stay hydrated whilst you're traveling. But if you fill this up in the morning and you carry it around with you, there's really no excuse but to drink it, especially if it's heavy. It's as simple as that. The benefits of doing this are endless. If you drink three to four liters a day, it's gonna help suppress your appetite. It's also gonna increase calorie burning and it also has no calories. So if you're feeling a little bit hungry in the morning, the likely chance is you're probably just a little bit thirsty. Once you drink a little bit more, your body is gonna feel full. And number five, walk everywhere. Instead of jumping in an Uber to every location, take the long way, have a walk, soak up the culture and burn those extra calories off and when Dave travels he easily gets in 10,000 steps a day because he makes a conscious decision to do so if any of this helped you or you related to this video then make sure to check out the link in my description where I break down my full hybrid method and show you how you can build and make your own custom roadmap to get you the physique you've wanted even if you're super busy with a nine to five or you're running your own business and if you need any more help you can always book in a custom roadmap call with myself and we can go through absolutely everything any issues you have anything you're struggling with anything that you want to improve and your goals will be discussed in that call and i can't wait to help you talk to you and get you towards your goals